Follow along with this tutorial to learn how to create a stylized illustration with the appearance of a stained glass window, where the artwork is segmented into several colourful shapes. I'll first show you how to create the simplified illustration style by using Illustrator's shape tools to draw a rose graphic. This vector art alone is a nice bright flat illustration style, but I'll then show you how you can transform your artwork into a realistic stained glass window with the help of a fantastic resource from the Artifacts Forge. The stained glass creator is an all-in-one toolkit that contains a variety of brushes and Photoshop styles to create authentic looking leaded glass designs. It's been made from real salvaged glass that has been processed into a range of colourful seamless texture patterns with lighting effects that can be applied as one-click layer styles. By exporting our Illustrator artwork over to Photoshop, we can quickly convert the Vector Rose illustration into a realistic looking stained glass window. Follow the link in the description to pick up the stained glass creator with up to a 50% discount from Design Cuts. To begin, open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. The artboard can be any size, but I'm using units of pixels for this digital design. Go to View and Hide Artboards to give yourself a large workspace. Select the Rectangle tool and draw a shape on the artboard. Activate the Direct Selection tool, which is the white arrow in the toolbar, then click some empty space to deselect the rectangle. Select just the top right corner, then use the corner widget to round off the corner by clicking and dragging the interface icon to its max. Do the same with the bottom right corner to create a custom shape. Switch back to the regular move tool, then select the shape. Go to Object Transform and Reflect. Choose either horizontal or vertical, then click the copy button. Move this duplicate shape so the straight edges butt up side by side. Making sure you have Smart Guides enabled under the View menu makes it easy to snap the shapes together. Hold the Alt key and click and drag the original shape to make a duplicate. Right click and choose Arrange Centre Back. Position this shape centrally, but so that it peeps out above the other two shapes. Make another duplicate and reflect the shape, or make a copy of the other shape that has already been reflected. Then send this object to the back too. Position this shape so it peeps out slightly from behind the other petal. Activate the rectangle tool again, then find the centre of the artwork. Hold ALT and draw a long, thin rectangle to represent the stalk. Reposition and adjust the size of the rectangle with the move tool. Overlapping the shapes slightly will ensure there are no gaps between them. Make more duplicates of the petal shapes, then scale and position them as a couple of leaves. Send the stem rectangle to the back using the Arrange Centre Back menu. Draw another, much larger rectangle to contain the rows. With just the containing rectangle selected, go to Object Path and Offset Path. Enable the preview and choose a relevant figure that adds a frame around the rectangle. 20 pixels works for the scale of my document. Next we'll begin segmenting the artwork to achieve the stylized stained glass look. Select the Line tool and clear the default white fill from its appearance, leaving just the black stroke. Draw a line between the corner of the inner rectangle to the outline of the offset rectangle. Repeat on all four corners. Draw lines between various corner points and paths to split the rose graphic up into smaller, more abstract shapes. Some corner points allow for multiple lines to be drawn to split up the larger portions even more. When your design is split up into lots of small shapes, draw a selection around everything using the Move tool. In the Pathfinder panel, click the Divide button, which will generate individual shapes wherever all these paths intersect. You may notice unwanted shapes have been created where the original petal shapes overlap. To merge these together, activate the Shape Builder tool, then click and drag across all the shapes to join them together. Right click on the artwork and choose Ungroup, so each shape can be selected individually. In my example most of the background will be blue, so it's easier to apply a blue swatch as the fill for all shapes, then adjust the colour of the others separately. Click elsewhere on the artboard to deselect, then select and change the fill for other individual shapes. The exact colour swatch you use doesn't matter, but it helps to figure out roughly what colour glass you'd like each segment to be. 
The stained glass creator toolkit contains some illustrator brushes that give the artwork thick leading style outlines, complete with subtle irregularities. Find the brushes panel, then from the menu choose open brush library and other brush library, then navigate to the leading brushes in the download. Select everything then apply one of the leading brushes to thicken up the outlines. Any areas with sharp points from the brush that extends onto other shapes can be cleaned up by bringing that particular shape to the front using the Arrange menu. When your vector art is complete, go to File and Export As. Choose Photoshop PSD from the Format drop-down. Make sure the Right Layers option is checked in the Export settings. Open this new PSD in Photoshop to see all the vector artwork has been exported as individual Photoshop layers. To make use of the stained glass styles, open the Styles panel from the Windows menu. Import the styles from the Panel menu. The stained glass creator contains over 120 different glass textures, but I'm just going to make use of the two dichroic glass styles. You can see each one contains a variety of colours that can be applied with a single click. Make sure the Auto Select option for the Move tool is enabled and set to Layer so you can simply click the portion of the design you want to apply the effect to and Photoshop will automatically find the relevant layer in the stack. Begin selecting and applying a style closest to the colour of your original vector art. In my example, I've randomly chosen three variations of blue to help enhance the effect. You can also customise the colour of each glass style. Hold the Command or Control key on Windows and click the layer thumbnail to load its selection. Add a new hue and saturation adjustment layer which will automatically have a layer mask applied according to the selection, so this adjustment will only affect that particular shape. Adjust the hue and saturation to completely change the colour or subtly alter it for a less uniform appearance. The stained glass creative toolkit makes it easy to add authentic looking glass textures without the need to try and generate effects using Photoshop filters or source images of real stained glass yourself. The final result is a colourful illustration with the appearance of a stained glass window. The initial techniques in Illustrator can be used to create all kinds of vector art using simple shapes. Then the design is brought to life with the help of some handy one-click styles in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.